Now, you will have heard a lot about the Overseas Operations Bill, aka the Tory war crimes immunity legislation, framed as a patriotic defense of our troops against activist lawyers, effete liberal politicians, and nefarious foreigners trying to cash in on the British Army's fine reputation, this bill has been championed by every Tory Prime Minister since 2010. But the truth, of course, is a little more complicated. Critics of the bill include organisations like Reprieve, Liberty and Freedom from Torture, Labour peer and lawyer Shami Chakraborty, ex-SAS Tory MP David Davis, ex-paratrooper and Labour MP Dan Jarvis, Field Marshal the Lord Guthrie, and even the famously left-wing Royal British Legion. Many of them fear the bill would protect not British troops, but the MOD from entirely legitimate legal challenges. They also warn that the legislation in its current form would decriminalize torture on the battlefield, strip victims of injustice of their right to sue, and stop military personnel, veterans, and families from pursuing claims for negligence, wrongdoing, and injury against the military. In February this year, ahead of his election as Labour leader, Keir Starmer pledged that his party would back no more illegal wars. He promised to introduce a Prevention of Military Intervention Act, put human rights at the heart of Labour foreign policy, and make the party a force for peace and justice internationally. Yet, on the 23rd of September, Starmer ordered his party to abstain from voting on a Tory war crimes bill. The only three MPs who rebelled, who had cabinet positions, were all booted out of their jobs. Yet Starmer said himself just months ago on the topic of Labour whistleblowers, that nobody should be harassed or sacked for standing up for what is right. Now it's on us all to read and understand the terrifying implications of this new Tory bill. Legislation that's been draped in the Union Jack to trick the public. And if you think the rule of law is important, and that victims and veterans deserve their rights, you should do whatever you can to make sure that this new law never gets anywhere near the statute books. We at the Canary believe in a free and fair society where we nurture people and planet. Now, more than ever, the Canary's progressive and independent journalism is needed to take on the powerful. Please support us if you can.